Zolkova says, well, if we're back to the normal tips goal, you'd be more than halfway. That's great, Zolkova. So would you like to go tell Twitch to turn my fucking partnership back on so I didn't have a month and a half of lost revenue so that I could go back to the old tips goal? Or maybe you'd like to send me the lost revenue that I lost losing my partnership on Twitch for absolutely no reason. Because I didn't fucking want that to happen, genius. This is something that happened that I have to deal with in real life because I'm a fucking adult. And, uh, you know, people like us who live in the real world sadly have to live with stressful, fucked up circumstances like this. Right? I didn't want things to go the way they have for the last month and a half. I would have loved to be right now streaming on Twitch back how things were with that community, with a chat that's controllable, with all of our nice pop-ups and things, everything in place how they were. I didn't remove myself from the fucking partnership. They're the ones who did the thing against me that was wrong. No justification, no proof of any wrongdoing. They don't care. If you've got a problem, Zalkova, go complain to Twitch and leave me the fuck alone. Because I'm the one that's had to fucking deal with this shit for the last month and a half. The last thing I need to hear is you bitching like an immature idiot on my stream that, oh, the tip goal should be lower. Fuck off. How about that? Fuck off. A few moments later. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. I'm fucking wearing the platinum tips. I don't care. <laughs> How about that? How about fuck every troll out there? I don't give a fuck. If you don't, if you're gonna complain, I don't care. You can bitch and moan on the internet as much as you fucking want. I'm gonna wear the platinum tips hat, and then I'm gonna wear headphones, and you can go fuck yourself. There you go. It's my fucking stream. I'll do what I fucking want. Fuck you. Yeah, go ahead. Record that moment. Every troll out there that just fought, voted for the military hat can go fuck yourself right in the ass. I don't care. We're wearing this hat today. And I'm listening to actual audio during a survival horror. And if you don't like it, you could lick my shit. How about that? Being that I knew people were enjoying the playthrough, I decided to go a little extra long today. As you saw, I went a whole extra hour on stream, which I hope you appreciate. Um, quite honestly, let me take a look because I have not looked at stream numbers all day. My God, the stream numbers were terrible. Wow, what happened? We never even... Hold on. I'm actually trying to go back here. Did we ever even get close to 400? We didn't, did we? At least from what I can see, I can't see the entire length of this stream, but from what I can see, which is back till around like 3 p.m., it looks like we barely even had 300 on stream. Wow. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it now. No more excuses, all right? Because the bottom line is people are like, Phil's not engaged in his commentary. And Phil's commentary is boring. And that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the streams. Bullshit. I'm loving this game. I'm voice acting. I'm engaged. I'm commentating on everything that's going on actively. Bullshit. I call massive bullshit on any idiot who says that about either the Watch Dogs 2, which I've been playing recently and really liking, or Pokemon. It's bullshit. I call complete and utter bullshit on anyone who's saying that I'm not engaged and I sound like I'm bored. I'm not. So, I've had enough excuses. It just seems to me like people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. I don't even know what else to say, you know? Jim Bob says that at one point we had around 350. Well, I mean, like people are fucking lazy. This is kind of ridiculous that I can't even get 400 people for a, a live stream anymore of new games. You know what I mean? It would be like, like people are fucking lazy. New games. It's one thing if this were like an old game that I was playing, it was boring and, you know, it was an older game most people didn't care about. It's a brand new game. And I can't even get 400 people on stream. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, people are fucking lazy. So, I don't know. Like, people are fucking lazy. Like, I'll be honest with everyone. I enjoyed the stream today. I had a lot of fun. I did. I had a lot of fun uh, playing this today. But what is the point of doing all the setup for the live stream? Right now, we're at the end of the stream. I've got 230 people on stream. Like people are fucking lazy. Why? The thing that all the kids are watching, and in particular what I'm addressing is people who already have existing YouTube channels for things like daily vlogs, uh, you know, their particular video series that are popular, and then they decide one day, oh gee, I think I'm just going to make a gaming channel over here, and you know, I'm going to play video games. And it really annoys me because there are people out there like me, like my primary living is off of this, off of doing this. I'm true to myself and I do what I enjoy, but I also do what I feel I'm the best at and what you enjoy the most. There are people out there who literally said, well, I have a really popular main YouTube channel. Well, guess what? Um, I like more money for no effort, so I'm going to make a gaming channel. And so they just open a gaming channel. Guess what? Um, I like more money for no effort, 
So I'm gonna make a gaming channel. And so they just open a gaming channel. Guess what? Um, I'd like more money for no effort. Oh my god, who the hell cares? When I moved to Washington State eight years ago, my tax attorney from Connecticut who used to do my taxes says, don't worry, I'll continue to do your taxes, no problem. Okay? He then proceeded to do my taxes incorrectly for one, two, four years, at least four years. He did them all wrong. What he did is he only did the federal, he ignored the state. Okay? It's fucked up that he did that. And he took a paycheck every year as if he was doing it all correctly when he knew he wasn't. He didn't care. Eventually. Tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford it. The back tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford it. The back tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford it. When I moved to Washington State eight years ago, my tax attorney from Connecticut who used to do my taxes says, don't worry, I'll continue to do your taxes, no problem. Okay? He then proceeded to do my taxes incorrectly for one, two, four years, at least four years. He did them all wrong. What he did is he only did the federal, he ignored the state, okay? It's fucked up that he did that, and he took a paycheck every year as if he was doing it all correctly when he knew he wasn't, he didn't care. Afford it. The regular tax payment that I owe the government every single month because I own my own business and I have to pay them monthly for what I estimate I owe them in federal income tax. Um, the back tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford it. My tax attorney do this. So I looked into all of this, all right? And essentially, you owe what you owe no matter what. So I owed the state taxes. And just because I didn't pay them, because this guy did my taxes wrong, I wasn't gonna be able to sue him. and be like, sue him for the taxes. That's not gonna work, all right? What I could have done is I could have took him to court for number one, all the tax uh, fees that he had charged me, because I was under the impression that he was actually doing the taxes correctly and it was all the taxes, but it wasn't. He was only doing the federal, not the state. And I thought I was paying him a fee for everything. So I could have taken him to court for the fees tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford it. The back tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford it. The back tax payment that I owe to the feds every year because I didn't pay my taxes properly for several years because I couldn't afford wow. it.